Let's talk about some of the device actions we can perform against devices that are enrolled into Intune. Uh, we'll take a look at the, we have this uh, NYC CL11B machine here that is enrolled into Intune. And uh, we're going to jump over to endpoint.microsoft.com. We're going to go to devices. We're going to click on uh, Windows and we'll choose the NYC CLB machine. So we'll click on that. And then so you'll notice that we have this little action bar up here. Um, and let's talk about some of these main actions that we can perform. First is the retire action. The retire action, what that's going to do is that's going to instruct the machine that it needs to uh, remove all company uh, settings, company uh, apps that have been deployed through, the, through Intune, um, and any company data that is associated with those apps. So if you didn't know, with Intune, when a device is connected to Intune, what is known as containerization occurs. Uh, also sometimes referred to as segmentation, which means that the personal information, if it's not a corporate, a corporate, fully corporate enrolled device, um, then, then you have two different containers, essentially. A personal container, essentially, on the device, and then uh, which contains all the personal settings, and then a uh, company, uh, Intune, MDM-based container. And so as, as a user is, is downloading uh, objects, files, things like that, and uh, working with things on their device, it's associated with that container in the background of the operating system. So when you retire, it's going to go and basically um, remove all that stuff. It has the ability to remove all that stuff from the device. Okay, It's not going to wipe the device now. It's going to leave the operating system and all that on there and updates, and, and it's not going to delete any personal stuff, but it's going to uh, remove that device. If the device is turned off, then the next time the device comes on and it checks in with Intune, that's when it's going to instruct it to retire. Now, there's also a delete option, and that's where things get a little confusing because technically when you retire, uh, eventually it's going to get deleted out of uh, Intune. Now, um, delete is, is mainly used for stale objects. Um, what is a stale object or a stale device? That's a device that is maybe no longer uh, in into maybe uh, somebody has a, a phone or something uh, and they've lost it and it's gone and um, there's it's no there's no coming back so because when you retire a device it will stay in Intune the information will stay in Intune until that device comes on with delete you're basically just saying hey it's gone this device is gone I'm just going to delete it out of Intune altogether because it's no longer supported. Now you might say, well, what happens then if somebody um, somebody finds that device? Uh, you know, maybe somebody lost it and they thought, oh, there's no no finding it, and then you know they turns out the phone or whatever was like in the couch in their couch or something, and then they found it after they already replaced the device. Well, when it checks back in Intune, it's no longer going to be enrolled, um, and so at that point, unless they enroll the device immediately, it's going to the device will automatically just wipe everything off. So the end result ends up being the same. But delete is again the, the goal of delete is usually that's used when the device is gone. You're not it's not coming back. Um, so what is wipe? Wipe is uh, where you can wipe the device, and depending upon the operating system, in this case it's Windows, you'll have different options when you click that. So in this case, I've got wipe device, but keep the enrollment state and associated user account or wipe the device and continue to wipe even if the device loses power. If you select this option, please be aware that it might prevent some devices running Windows 10 and, and later from starting up again. So this is just, you know, wiping the uh, device entirely if you want. So that is uh, the idea there. And again, if it's Android, iOS, you'll have a similar concept there. So that's what wipe is. Um, and uh, we can have the whole thing wiped, uh, factory defaults, or we can do selective wiping where we're just wiping company data off these devices with that option um, when you're dealing with uh, a mobile device. And then finally, you'll notice over here we've got uh, restart. I'm actually going to trigger this right now uh, on this Windows 11 box just to show you that it, uh, that it happens or what happens. So we'll click restart. And we're also going to go ahead and tell it to sync, and that's going to try to do a push notification to the device to let it know that it needs to restart. 
Now eventually what will happen, and sometimes this can take a little bit of time, but eventually what's going to happen is there's going to be a little pop-up box that will appear that will let, uh, let you know that it's in the process of restarting. Okay. Um, when you're dealing with uh, mobile devices like Android and iOS and all that, you also have a remote lock capability. Um, we've also got a reset passcode capability with some of those mobile devices. And there are some other capabilities here that we can do as well, which I'm not getting into all the details on that right now. But those are the main actions that I wanted to explain uh, to you. All right. So we'll just give this, uh, I'll give this just a little time. I may have to pause the recording while we wait on this little pop-up. But we should get a, a pop-up box on this uh, machine here in just a second. All right, so after a couple minutes, this little message popped up on my machine. I didn't touch it. It just did it on its own. It says you're about to be signed out, uh, and your device administrator has scheduled a reboot. Okay, after that uh, message goes away, this one pops up immediately thereafter. And it's just letting me know that uh, within two minutes, I'm going to be signed out. So as you can see, it is going through this process of rebooting. All right, and as you can see, my virtual machine here is rebooting. So it is official, going through that process of restarting. So you're seeing some uh, screen flickers here. But it is, uh, it is doing what it's supposed to do. And at this point, now it's going to give me the opportunity to log on. Okay, so the point of that was just to show you that we triggered an action in Intune. I triggered a, a restart action in Intune, and it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It did take a couple minutes to take effect, a few minutes to take effect, but it did happen. And so hopefully now that gives you a much better understanding of the, uh, the concepts of these actions. Depending upon the operating system, whether it's Windows, Intune, or Android, you're going to have similar uh, actions that you can perform, all right? Um, and so that is, we can re refresh the screen here too and see if the status changes. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, so it tells you right here the restart was completed. All right, so hopefully now you have a much better understanding of the different actions you can perform against these devices uh, through this little action bar in Intune.